So it's about quarter of three in the morning, April 16th, and I'm getting ready to go on a road trip. I understand that there's this owl that's raising some baby owls down close to where I used to live around Ephrata, PA. So we're gonna make a little road trip this morning, about a three and a half hour drive. Um, but it's supposed to be a beautiful day. It's beautiful out right now. Nice bright moon out, stars are out. Might not be able to see it in this video though. But, and if it looks like I'm crying, it's only because it's a bitter cold morning for April 15, April 16 here. Temperatures at 35 degrees and windy. So I'm really not too emotional over this trip. It's just winds blowing in my eyes. But hopefully you'll join me here, stick with me, and hopefully we'll see something worth photographing. things I love about road trips is that quite often you'll be able to take your time a little bit more and see things that normally you wouldn't see if you're just speeding straight to a destination. Uh, in this case, happened to be going through a little old mining town called Ashland, Pennsylvania, where I saw this old car dealership. This fella had some old vintage cars parked in the showroom. Not sure if he really sells any vehicles anymore, but sure was nice to be able to stop and just check out the uh, walk down memory lane. <music> down here to Ephrata at the uh, Iker Arts Center as well as the Ephrata Performing Arts Center and the American Legion. Uh, here's where the owl's nest is reported to be so we're gonna go check it out see if we can't get some good photos for you. With the help of a friend's directions I was able to find exactly where the nest was at. Tried to position myself in the best spot to get some good shots since there was a lot of uh, little twigs in front of the nest and once we found that ideal spot we were ready to set up. So we got some pretty decent shots of the owls. Uh, got to see the baby in the nest there and got to see both parents actually, the mother and the father. But since it's daytime, the uh, mother and father really aren't moving around a whole lot. Um, so some individuals that I met there at the nest told me about another site where there's another baby owl. Uh, so we're gonna go and check that out. It's about half an hour from here. So I figure after making the drive down to see this, we might as well make that half hour extra drive and go see the other nest. Uh, plan on stopping by this nest again later this afternoon uh, once the sun starts setting the uh, parents should become more active and I'm heard I've heard that they uh, visit the nest then so we're gonna go check it out in the meantime stick with me and uh, we'll see what we can find at this other nest It to the other nest here in beautiful Mount Joy. You can see it behind me up here in the tree. There's a hole up there. So it looks like one baby up there peeking out. Um, I was told that the mother was in the area just not too long ago. 
um, which might bode not so good for us because if she was just at the entrance, she might be a little while in coming back. But we'll do some looking around, see if we can't find her. And in the meantime, hopefully we get some good shots of the baby. today doing some photography got to see some wonderful owls some adults some babies two different nests actually uh, met a lot of nice individuals so hopefully uh, we'll be able to get out again sometime soon and do this again it was really enjoyable hopefully you enjoy the pictures that I'll be posting along with this uh, little short video and hopefully you'll join me for my next road trip whatever that may be thanks again be sure to subscribe and uh, we'll look forward to seeing you again Take care. and I just thought I would throw this little clip in to share with you that when you're out all day long in the bright sunlight it probably wouldn't hurt to wear sunscreen uh, otherwise you'll wake up like I did feeling like somebody put your face in a toaster um, so lesson learned when you go on a road trip for any kind of photo adventures or anything outdoors make sure you uh, put some sunscreen on your face uh, or any other areas of your skin that are exposed Tune in next time for the next road trip.